Hello everybody. Before we get in to me showing you how I organize my browser in Final Cut Pro and how I organize my project and, and media files that are imported, I want to pound a few things into your head first. FCP only stores reference files. It doesn't store the main file. It's a non-destructive editor, which means it takes your original movie and makes reference movies and works and changes are made to these reference movies, not your actual original filed movie. So it's non-destructive that way any change that you make will not affect your original movie. It will make it into a separate reference file. That way no matter what you do, your original movie will stay unharmed. Store your projects on your boot drive, usually in, under your doc documents folder with the Final Cut Studio documents is the name of the folder. Usually that's the default. Uh, you can change this. I recommend keeping all projects saved projects. Now not the media that's in your projects, just your projects. Save your projects to your boot drive and store your media on a separate hard drive. This would be better. Do not keep your projects and media in the same place. And this is just a rule of thumb that I stick to. Set your scratch disk and don't change it. If you change your scratch disks, it could cause a problem with connection of your files because Final Cut Pro has a little map that leads it to these reference files that it's made of your original movie. And these reference files are put onto your scratch disk. And if you move this scratch disk, Final Cut Cut Pro is going to go out and looking for these reference files in that old scratch location and it's going to say ho ho hold on a minute where'd everybody go is the party over nobody's here and it's going to disconnect your media and you're going to have to go through and search and find it again so once you set your scratch disk don't change it use a firewire 400 800 or an eSATA drive or a 10,000 rpm internal would also be great I use a firewire 800 external drive for my scratch disk the faster you can get the better off you're going to be. I mean, it's that simple. The faster scratch disk you got, the better off you're going to be. My Firewire 800 external hard drive seems to saturate bandwidth greater than my internal 7200 RPM hard drive. So I have a Firewire 800 scratch disk, which I'm going to be soon installing 10,000 RPM internal drives, and we're going to see how that goes. Always set your scratch disk. Don't change it. Use a Firewire 400 or an 800 or really just the fastest you got. I don't recommend USB of any kind. So... Make your scratch disk set to the fastest drive that you got. And those are the four main rules that I wanted to go over before I got into organizing my media browser. So that's coming up. I'm going to show you how to import files and how I keep my stuff arranged so I don't get confused because media management is crucial in Final Cut Pro. That's next. So here we are, finally ready to fire up Final Cut Pro. So let me fire up Final Cut Pro for us. And if you ever come across, you're in a tight spot and your canvas and your timeline has disappeared and you're thinking, holy cow, what's happened? I can't get them back. What do I got to do? Because I've, I've encountered this problem when I first started using Final Cut Pro and a lot of other beginning users have too. And if your timeline and canvas ever closes out on you, just go up and double click the sequence that's in your browser and it will open everything back up. So in this lesson, what we're going to concentrate is on this box right here, the browser. It's called the media browser because it's where all your effects are stored and it's where all your sequences and media is stored for your project. There's two tabs up here right now, one for the project I'm working on and the effects tab which houses all my transitions and video effect effects and we will cover that in future lessons and if I have three sequences then there'll be three tabs in the effects tab. If I have five sequences there'll be five tabs in the effects tab. So I have one sequence and if I want to create a new sequence all I have to do is go up to file new and I can create a new sequence. It'll ask me, I have mine set to ask me what I want it to be, the preset and I select OK, DV, NTSC, 48 kilohertz audio and as you can see it throws in another sequence, sequence two. And if I want to open, and as you can see down here in the timeline, sequence one is open. If I double click sequence two, it throws up a sequence two tab in the timeline and I can switch back and forth between sequence one and sequence two. And you can have as many sequences open as you want. Let's go back to sequence one. Now how do I get files into this? Well that's pretty simple. Go up to file, and there'll be an import option. You can import files, a folder, an EDL, an XML. If you do a folder, you can have you'll import a whole folder. 
in files as individual files I'm going to import a folder I have one on my desktop already for this lesson and it throws my folder into my browser right here and as you can see if I twirl it down it has all the media inside my browser my folder now say that's just a little bit hard for you to read and you want to shrink or small in the shrink or make the text larger right click in the box anywhere scroll down to text size select small medium or large I'll leave mine large because I like to see what's going on also if you right click you can view as an icon I have mine to view as a list but you can view as small medium and large icons click the icon view and as you can see now all of our clips are icons I myself prefer the list view now say for instance you want to create a new folder you've cut up a few clips and you want to keep them in their own separate folder well just right click again and select new bin and this will bring a new folder in and you can name it whatever you want I'm going to name it project one now what clips do I want to put in my project one well um, I'm going to scroll down twirl down my FCP folder I just imported and just pick a couple clips marquee drag around a couple clips and, and click and drag into my project one folder and it will drop those clips into my project ones folder now the way I like to do it is inside each of my folders I like to keep a video folder an audio folder a stills folder etc so I can keep all of my projects organized so let me create a couple folders I'm gonna create a couple new bins by right clicking I want to name one of them video I want to name the other one audio and I want to click and drag both of these into my project one folder now inside my project one folder I have an audio folder and a video folder and I can click and drag the video clips I just put in my project folder click and drag them and drop them in my video folder that way all my video is isolated into my video folder if I had any audio I could put it in my audio folder I'm also going to put my sequence one into my project one folder there now it's under my project one I have my first sequence my audio and my video if you want to you can even make a folder called sequence and drop your sequence in it so that is how you go about organizing your browser I always recommend keeping a video audio stills keep as many folders as it takes to stay organized because being organized is a very very important step in Final Cut if you're not organized you're not gonna get very far it's very very easy to get mixed up and clouded up when you get into big projects that are just too big to keep track of in your mind you will need to keep good media management inside of your browser so now what if you wanna open up a project that you've already been working on no problem there either go up to file select open and it will bring up your dialog box your and your choose a file box locate your file and just choose open what else is there in the menu there's the export but we'll go over that later login capture and login transfer for um, using your camera to bring in media right straight from your camera media manager and we're going to go over that in a later tutorial also basically all I wanted to get down now was how to organize your browser so remember keep as many bins as it needs as you need put your video in your videos folder your audio in your audios folder your sequences in your sequences folder so on and so forth I cannot stress enough how important it is to stay organized so next I want to take you a tour of the interface I want to show you around the viewer and the canvas and the timeline show you how to navigate around and how it works and maybe how to import some clips into the timeline and set you up a sequence so we can get ready to start editing it's coming folks so that's next